It's time to pack the movies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hack the Movies. I am Tony from Hack the Movies here with my good friends Joe and Sean from Movie Dumpster. How are you? Well, Tony, how are you? We're doing great. I'm doing great. We're doing. And we're doing great. We're doing great. I speak for all of us. Okay, clearly. Thank you. <laughs> Today, we will be talking about the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. And the reason we're doing this is because recently we did an episode on the worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We went through all eight films. We sure did. <laughs> and we picked which ones we thought were the worst. And we did that in preparation for this new movie that just came out. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about it today. But again... Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. We have episodes every Monday and Thursdays. That's a lot of that's a lot of content. It's a lot of content that premiere at 3 p.m. and we ha also have a Patreon full of fun stuff. Anyway, Joe, <laughs> Sean, yes, how are you guys? Well, well, you already told us we were. I fine, already told so you how yeah, we're yeah. doing. I didn't even get to answer. You just told me. <laughs> yes, uh, new Texas Chainsaw just came out. Saw the, the saw the, S -A -W. The, the Saul's family. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I sure solves it. I yeah. grew up in Northeast Philly, and my <laughs> words that end in AW somehow have L's in them. I, I keep trying to fix it to to no avail. Uh, <laughs> Get some hooked on phonics. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're both from Jersey, so we have our own problems. Yeah, Tony. yeah. Let's not throw stones here. <laughs> yeah, we'll dog, okay. water, dog. coffee. Yeah, yeah, you guys had a lot of W's to dog. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Yes, so the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre that everyone is watching because it's on Netflix and that's the only reason anyone's watching it. <laughs> or else, I don't know why Legendary even decided to buy this after the last movie just was a blip on everyone's radar. It never even came out. Like, it barely had a push. I, I, I think it's the, the Fetty Alvarez thing, man. Honestly, it's that Evil Dead remake <laughs> stink. Always. Yeah, yeah. So a uh, <laughs> little bit of backstory here. Um, this is from the director, David Blue Garcia, the director of... Tiano and the cinematographer Tejano? for Huh? Tahano? Tahano? Tejano? And the cinematographer for Monster Energy Outbreak House South by Southwest. Among other things. Is that like a monster that's created from Monster Energy drinks? No, it's I think it was a reality show sponsored by Monster Energy Drink oh. for the South by Southwest Festival. Uh but the yes. First time director. Yes. <laughs> Produced by Fetty Alvarez, and I can't believe that when I saw that. I was like, wait a minute, Evil Dead, which we have a review of on this channel, the 2013 one, I'm like, that was good. I mean, compared to like, like <laughs> we've all seen bad I remakes. Know, I know, yeah. We've all seen bad, like that. Take, I have my own problems with it, but I agree. Sure. Take your personal feel, sure, like sure. that That was a movie, you sat there, you watched it, it went, okay. Sure. I definitely it, liked it, it. Uh, there were definitely evil things that were dead in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I think I liked it more in the first viewing. A repeat viewing doesn't hold up as well, but yeah, it's it's good. But still, it's and fine. then he also did like Don't Breathe, which was sure. like pretty oh, yeah, celebrated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he directed those. Yeah. But being a producer, I thought like, oh, maybe he had like a really unique idea, kind of like the new Halloween movie. <laughs> Say what you will. They have that whole new idea of like PTSD with Lori and whatnot that they explored. They definitely didn't think they would stretch it out to three movies. But anyway, uh, so I thought, oh, maybe he's bringing something to this. Uh, and the writer of this is some guy. And he wrote a thing that didn't come out yet. But <laughs> people are excited for it. And built on that, they decided, how about you write this thing? I, I will say that the writing in this isn't as cringe as I thought it was going to be. This feels like, and we'll get to the movie here, uh, th this whole movie feels like one of the Hellraiser sequels where they just had some other script. <laughs> yeah. And oh, they said, yeah. and they said, make it Leatherface. And then someone had the brilliant idea. They're like, hey, let's do what Halloween's doing. <laughs> let's bring back the original girl <laughs> to finally face off against Leatherface. And then someone said, she's dead. And they went, doesn't matter. We'll get some other old bra. <laughs> Some Irish actor with nothing against the Irish people. She's I, good at I Mandy. One of them. I remember her in Mandy. She Never, was really good at I Mandy. I haven't seen Mandy yet, but like as soon as I saw the trailer for this and I saw that uh, Sally was coming back, I'm like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you had an opportunity. Look, you're going to do a direct sequel to the first Text Chainsaw Massacre. Which is like the fifth time. For the, yeah, for the fifth yeah. time. Right? <laughs> We're going to do fucking Old Man Leatherface again. But yes. And then you're going to bring... really. They barely touch on that. Well, yeah, it's bizarre. we'll talk about it, but like... Yeah. Just to just to piggy right piggyback right off Halloween is just like all right, 
And I, that feels after that I was like, okay, by the way, if you this. told me there was a version of this movie that didn't have her and that was added, I'd believe you. Oh yeah, yeah. it feels like such you it just snip it right out. Nothing. It's also um, like you know they've had movies over decades now where Jamie Lee Curtis has been fighting Michael Myers. Like there's a precedent. Uh, what other movies in this in this series has this character ever returned? But also, Jamie Lee Curtis is a huge actress, yes. so you want to see her come back. I mean, this, the girl who played Sally was great, but like she wasn't like a lister. Yeah, she wasn't an A-lister, and also no. she's dead. She's not coming back. No. no one wants to see someone else play her. And I'll tell you something. I watched that Critters Attack movie, and D. Wallace comes back for that. And you know what? I don't fucking need D. Wallace being <laughs> a bounty hunter in a Critters movie. I don't need it. Yeah, not everyone needs to come back. All right. No, and she was so. Gr- <sighs> if I was Sally, I just move out of Texas. But we're not here to talk about the old movies. We're talking about this very, very new one brought to us by Netflix. <sighs> Gotta love them. They're up in the fucking prices this month, baby. (laughs) Here it comes. They should be offering refunds. Um, (laughs) Before we go into this, uh, what what were your opinions on the film leaving when you finished it? I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. I ended up, I watched it this morning, Mm. and after 20 hours of Dune, it was a breath (laughs) of fresh air, kind of, or like- Stand by for the Dune movie coming out. (laughs) I turned, I kind of- you know, it was like, ah, all right, let's just, I want some killing. Here we go. Um, it was fine. The woke thing that everybody keeps talking about, because I keep, I keep seeing it all over the, all online. Mm. I see more people complaining about people complaining about the movie than actual people complaining about the movie. <laughs> yeah. What were your thoughts on it? I liked it. I, I, I said this when you came in, you both kind of looked at me like, okay, but honestly, I thought this was better than at least two or three of the other sequels. Yeah. Mm. Especially the last two that came out, uh, 3D and Leatherface. I thought it was better than both of those. And it was honestly, in my opinion, more entertaining than three. It's like a neo-neon kind of balls to the wall slasher Jason Michael Myers thing. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, I I will say uh, as we get into this, I do have a lot of problems with this. Don't get me wrong, but I did enjoy it. Yeah. All right. So that's Movie Dumpster's last episode here on Hack the Movies. (laughs) Uh, was- no, I thought I thought it was crap, but like <laughs> you're right. The, there 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 are fights on Twitter this weekend. It, it, fucking slow news week or something. Put in, but there yeah. are fights on Twitter. Yeah. People rampantly defending it and rambling like, guys, it's just another bad Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. Like, it's just a fucking middling movie. It's fine. I don't get like, the people like super obsessed with defending it. They're like, we should appreciate that we even have new horror and stuff. I'm like, it's a fucking another reboot of Texas Chainsaw. Like, there's other slap. On oh. Netflix right now, I can watch, uh, I'm a big Michael Flanagan uh, fanboy, Hush, that slasher Hush. Way more entertaining than and this. And nobody's talking about that. There's so many, I, well, on, I, I Patreon, don't get- on Patreon, we have a bonus episode for a Netflix movie called A Classic Horror Story. Yeah. Really, really good movie. Uh, really plays with a lot of conventions uh, on horror, and it takes place in my dad's hometown of Calabria, Italy. That is currently on Netflix. That's a fun. That sounds interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. like let's highlight the indie horror instead of trying to resuscitate fucking franchises <laughs> that are dead. Why yeah, is yeah. Legendary doing this? Because they have other stuff. Why did they want Leatherface? I don't know. I, Leatherface I, versus Godzilla. I yeah. mean, if if we look at some more of this behind the scenes, we might understand why yes. this all happened. So I found out, and this was very believable. Uh, afterwards, that two brothers were directing this, and a week into production, they got shit canned, uh, completely replaced, and they reshot all their stuff. I totally forgot that that was a thing, yeah. and you just reminded me before we started getting into this, and then it's like, okay, you were gonna give these brothers a shot, but instead you shit can them, and then just like this guy who directed a fucking Monster Energy drink commercial, and somebody who hasn't even wrote anything, and then they gave it to uh, Fetty to produce. Like, yeah. whoa, okay, did you not want to take a chance on the other guys? It's it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Like, how but bad was that footage? I don't know. Or maybe, maybe it was good. I don't know. It, is, is this like the solo you know, uh, Star Wars story situation where I, it was just too unique and they did No, no, no. In all honesty, I think that's what it was. They were like, yeah. fuck it, baby. We got to do that fucking Halloween 2018 thing. And they're like, no, let's not do that. And they're like, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, get into this film. Maybe we could see where it went wrong. Uh, you know, it really respects the fans, Joe. <laughs> It starts off with DVD. It's got the same chainsaw in it from the first movie, yeah, Tony. It's the yeah. same model. It's even the same color. It starts off with a DVD playing a recap of the first film, but ignores all the family members. And John Larroquette comes back because that's we needed him to come back. Five youths were attacked in a grisly and gruesome fashion by an unidentified madman. 
He's come back for two other remakes. Yeah, no one ever cares. <laughs> It's fine. He does his voiceover in an afternoon and gets paid. Like, it's not a big deal. Anyone could read that role. It's a fun trivia at, like, a trivia night. Who did the opening narration of the original? Oh, John Larroquette. Cool. I think it's yeah. easy work. He gets, you know, gets the email every few years. He gives him his fee. You know, pay me this much. No problem. He sits there for five fucking minutes and bangs it out. You think he banks yeah. on that? Like, oh, they're going to do another text chance of massacre. I don't think he's banking on a, a, a voiceover that's two paragraphs, yeah. Joe. I don't think. If John Larroquette is banking on Texas Chainsaw you know, to be rebooted every 10 years. I need a couple like, bucks. You know what I mean? You know? That's like Ron Perlman sitting there waiting for the next Fallout game to come out so he could do the narrative. Like, I really need the money. I'm Ron Perlman, but I really need that when's fallout in, when's money. When's the next Guillermo del Toro yeah. movie coming in? So they recap the first movie briefly, and they ignore the whole family aspect. That's they just make it seem like Leatherface was just a crazy slasher. It's just a bizarre thing, because not only not only are we ignoring the family, but, like, the whole story behind, like, the, the, the town going into ruin and why they were doing what they're doing and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, what? You went, and then you go to a fucking orphanage after the 1974 movie? What are you talking well, they about? They retcon that a little bit. Much like much of these other sequels have done. But yeah. it's like, oh, he was really just from an orphanage originally. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it's it's a little bizarre. But we find out from the gas station guy. Because the girl is there. There's a bunch of young teens. They've, as we find out, they bought a town. <laughs> what a stupid fucking they bought thing. A, they bought a town with, like, barely any electricity or water. Anyway. Uh, they're talking to the gas station guy who has like a shrine to Leatherface because I guess for tourism stuff. I kind of love this because this is the shit I look for when I go places. Like, yeah. like if you went to like Falk, Arkansas for like the Leg Legend of Boggy Creek, yeah. I expect to get like a fucking Bigfoot keychain and shit <laughs> that says I went to Falk or whatever. Yeah. But to our point earlier that I think all the stuff with Sally was at it very late. I guess they couldn't film like her backstory. So like whatever happened to Sally? And he's like, oh. She became a ranger and she's been hunting him ever since. And like, did they ever find him? It was like, no, he wears a mask. No oh. one knows what he looks like. It's like, <laughs> like, that's what she did. Sally, just move out of Texas. I God. don't even think in the original she was from Texas. They were there like on a trip. I think she's from, I think they're from Texas. I'm not really sure, actually. I think I they might have been from a different part of Texas. I mean, Texas yeah. is huge, I guess, to be fair. Maybe I am talking on my ass. I mean, again, in yeah. three, we found out, yeah, there's fucking lagoons. There's bayous in here. Point <laughs> is she had family there in this town. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the teens in this suck. I I'll agree with the, that. The mechanic shows up to, like, gas up his truck. And, like, right away, the one teen's like, oh, I bet his dick's small. He's carrying a gun. And the guy's like, can I just fill up my gas tank? <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I agree with you, but that is such a real fucking <laughs> scenario, man. Like, I've seen that happen. I'm not going to name names, but I've been with people that have made comments with an earshot of people like that, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's like, dude, you're allowed to have a gun. Like, whatever your thoughts on guns are, like, he was just pumping his gas. It's none of your fucking business. And I get there's some, not bothering, I get there's bother some like, backstory that we'll get into, which sure. I find... Little, uh, we'll get into that. Can we can we just knock that out real quick? When okay, pe yes. People are, people are saying that this movie's woke. Well, okay, yeah. Yes. It, woke. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's no, like a it's signal in my head. Uh, now. I don't think they watch the movie because all this movie does is make fun of that. Yes. I couldn't really. I think it makes fun of both sides. I think it makes fun of fun of both sides and how the, both sides are up each other's asses or getting up their own yeah, ass. It's getting uh, ridiculous. Cat out of the bag here. So the 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 sisters, one of them survived the school shooting, which is. I wasn't ready for that, and I was like, oh. I was not ready for that either, and I don't think the writer of this movie was ready to incorporate Yo. that into it. I mean, props to the actors. I thought she handled it well. Yeah. And I like, she was good. <laughs> she was the best one out of all of them. And, like, all right, so she, the movie then tries to have, like, a weird anti-gun thing, but it's, like, in a Texas chain. Like, the killer doesn't even use a gun in the Texas Chainsaw well, movie. Yes and no, because, like, I don't know why it's here, but by the end, yeah. she it's fine. Like she's come to terms with well, it. Well, at the end, guns saved the day. Yeah, so I'm a little confused. That's what I'm saying. And, and it's that's, it's gotta be a joke, right? That's what yeah. this movie does throughout. Like, like like you guys are talking about. Like, yeah, I, yeah, these characters are woke or for you know, yeah. today's, you know, stereotype of what that is. And the cancel culture thing and, and, that was a big part of the trailer. Right. And just like the oh, guy I can't wait the, to get to that scene. The mechanic guy yeah. with the gun is like, oh, he's just some redneck idiot. And it's like, And no. he's not. He's just like, I'm just pumping like yeah. he would have just pumped his gas and went about his merry way. And he literally says, like, yeah, we have feral hogs out here. Like <laughs> We're in the fucking desert. And Things can, like, chase up. you. Yeah. Like, you, you need a gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I like that he calls him out because he's right. Yeah. yeah. 
And um, yeah, so <laughs> they, I mean, they have that white savior kind of fucking complex. Yeah, with this a little stuff, bit. Though. So they get in their self-driving car and scroll through Instagram. Is that a thing yet? Oh, see, yeah. they see, well, it's a Tesla. It's a Tesla. Yeah, yeah but that's where it really got me because I was like, oh, autopilot. And I'm like, they got to be fucking. This is satire. The whole well, thing. According to Fast and Furious 8, uh, New York is full of thousands of them and they could turn into zombies in any minute. Um, yeah, I I know they exist. I don't know how reliable they are or mass how produced much, they are. How much money are they? This kid, I think we're meant to believe that the one kid has like a ton of money. I mean, if they must. bought a town. It, he bought well, a town. Well, yeah. Yeah, so they're scrolling through Instagram. So yeah, they they bought a town where people that are like minded will show up and live in their utopia. This is such a cult. <laughs> yeah, which they get called out on. Yeah, like yeah. That that's what a utopia is. A cult. Yeah. Speaking of um, them making the one guy seem like an asshole, like the cops show up and pull them over to like ask some stuff about the town and like. Uh, the movie is trying to make it seem like the way it's shot, like, oh, we're not supposed to trust the cops. They're yeah. they're creepy bad guys. But like they seemed more concerned than anything. They, they were. Didn't... They were like, look, you're going to take over this town. Yeah. And we're making sure that like everybody gets there safe and nobody's doing anything fucking stupid out here. Well, because they, they're, they're kind of like, yeah, did you make sure you got all the permits? Did yeah. you make sure you got everybody's uh, uh, deeds? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got it. No problem. Don't worry about it. But again, I, I don't want to keep harping on this. So yeah. this is maybe the last time I'll say it. But. Yeah. They're trying to put all these stereotypes, and maybe it is super ham-fisted, and maybe that's yeah. why people don't like it, but they're trying to, successfully or not, put all these stereotypes. Oh, the cops, they're obviously going to be bad. No, they're not. Yeah. Oh, the guy who's got the gun, he's obviously an, an asshole. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah. You know, it's like stuff like that. Yeah, and I I guess it just wasn't obvious to me that they were, like, playing that up. Mm. Like, I feel like it could have been written a little bit I mean, I could be better. totally wrong here. That's, that was, you, want, you want to do a... You want, you want to watch a good movie with, like, uh, killings that has characters that people misjudge, uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil, yeah. mm -hmm. where the hillbillies are the heroes, but they constantly are made to look like killers. It's a great flick. That yes. movie is so... Don't watch the trailer for it. The trailer <laughs> ruins too much of it. Yeah. Tucker and Dale versus Evil is like what this movie's trying to do, but so much better. Mm -hmm. Big time. <laughs> that fucking kid jumping into the wood chipper. <laughs> um, anyway. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, so they get to the town. And they realize, oh, wow, there's an old shredded up Confederate flag and we have a bus full of like minded teens coming and they're going to cry if they see <laughs> the Confederate flag in the South. Yeah. I mean, I whatever your personal thoughts are, and that's fine. Like, I wouldn't my default thing wouldn't be like, oh, my God. I wouldn't start screaming. I'd be like, yeah, I'd probably, but is I it, expect that to see, I expect to see that here to be it's honest. It's also a fucking ghost town. It's also a ghost town. You know what I mean? Like, but they're like, we have to take it down right now. And it's like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll get away with being like, yeah, I was here when we got here. Uh, we it, didn't have a ladder. It looks like somebody wiped their ass with it. It's all shredded up and stuff. Yeah. It's like, okay, it's obviously been there since the fucking Civil War. Well, so it's the Sawyer's original, uh, you know, battle flag, obviously. I guess so. Yeah. Well, Traitor flag. Wait, I'll wasn't that the say. Virginia battle flag? I don't know. I'll be the first to admit, I might be talking out of my ass, Tony. I have no idea. It's still a traitor flag. But it, it's not a Sawyer flag. One second. One second. It's an, Al it's an Alice Kreege flag. <laughs> <laughs> As we find out. <laughs> the um, the Stars of Bars is a Virginia Confederate battle flag. Like, specifically? Yes. Yeah, that's not the, by the way, that's not the Confederate flag. They, there was like five different, oh, they wow. never landed on like what the actual flag would be and then they didn't last long enough. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I don't know. But here it is in Texas, which sure. sure. Um, yeah, so they're in there, they're trying to rip it down, but there's bars on the windows and they meet who you have informed me, Sean, is Alice Creek. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know? It was no her? idea it was her. I mean, it looks like her. Yeah. Mama. I didn't like, and I recognize Alice Creek from things, obviously. She's so good. Star, I'm, I'm so Star glad, Trek. I'm so glad to yeah. see her. Again in this, I was like, oh, there she is. I did the same thing in Thor The Dark World. I stood up and I said, <laughs> Alice it's, Krieg, you got this. It's fine. You got this, Alice Krieg. And then people in the theater were like, who's Alice Krieg? <laughs> I'm like, she was the Borg queen. It kind of ruined the Borg, but she was really good in it. Ghost story. She's, yes. She's kind of one of those like underrated actors that whenever you see them in something, you're like, okay, this is going to be at least decent. She's going to be in that she's new gonna ghost movie with uh, Malcolm McDowell. It takes place in Scotland. Sign me the fuck uh, up for although, that. Although, yep. literally, as I say that, I watched uh, Gretel and Hansel and she's the witch in that. And yeah. that movie fucking sucks. Really? That movie was another one that just kind of came and went. Never saw it. It looked cool. The, not not good. It looked like it looked like it was uh the Vivich, but for kids. Mm. Wow. Well, yeah. The last half hour spoilers, she, you know, like a witch does, gets youthful and is, you know, dancing naked, killing one of the kids. So oh. I don't think so. 
Oh. I mean, now, now Tony's put it on his watch list. I'm now he's going to come back with is, the update. Is, does she turn into a different actress? or they, Oh, wait, oh yeah, they, it's, it's it's one of your favorites, I'm sure. Oh, did they de-age? Like Jessica Biel. Or, I was going to say, did they de-age Alice Creed? No. Are they waiting for that? <laughs> Get that butt from Ghost Story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So... Uh, this this scene was so mean. But they go in and Alice Creek's like, "Oh, Hi, how you doing? Would you come? Come on, would oh, you yeah. like some tea?" And like, I neighbors. own this house. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, "Screw off, old lady! You don't own the house. Get out! We do. Get out of my house!" Oh yeah, show me the title. And she's like, "Oh, I think I have the paperwork somewhere." They're like, "Lady, get the <laughs> hell out!" They upset her so much she fucking throws up <laughs> and but jokes it's like, on it. And yeah. But it's like, guys, there's clearly something wrong with her. Like, she has, like, dementia, maybe. Yeah. Like, maybe, like, like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll deal with this later. Like, we got a lot of people coming. Let's not cause a scene. Uh, I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be like, get out of my house, mother. Like, I, I'm, this is my house, and I'm going to no, stay here. No, she's trying to be, by the yeah. way, she's like, hey, look. Putting it on the head. Putting yeah. it on yeah. the head. <laughs> yeah. But even, yeah, even she's just like, no, that flag is my great-grandfather. I think she even offers to take it down. Like, like, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's like, that's the only thing I have to remember him by. And then she does have the accidental. I like Negroes. Yes, yeah, he has the accidental yeah. racist grandmother yeah. where it's like, okay, uh, not my grandmother, obviously. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe the one that's dead. I don't know. I never met her. Uh, but th it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, you're trying to be progressive, but your your vocabulary is out of date. <laughs> but she's fr she was born in like fucking 1875. I know. Dude. It's like one of those like, look, she's she's not kicking us out. Let's just be nice. <laughs> We're going to let that one slide. We're going to let that one yeah. slide. Can I get a round of applause, everyone? Today, I'm excited to announce Manscaped launched their Ultra Premium Collection. Believe it or not, it's for your not-so-private parts. I'm talking about a leveled-up hygiene routine with your favorite manly scents. This is an all-in-one skin and hair kit for the everyday man and covers you from head to toe, literally. Manscaped is trusted below the waist. Now trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with code HACKTHEMOVIES. What an exciting time. Yeah. I'm very excited for the Ultra Premium Collection. We're diehard Manscaped fans. We are, yeah. We talk about it all the time. I'm, just, I'm like, Sean, how are your balls doing? Uh, we talk about it a lot more than I thought we would. Did you think when you first started working here, the topic of your balls would be a regular one? No, but I'm kind of okay with it now. Yeah, you get used to it, don't you? Yeah. I thought it'd be weird too, but now I'm just totally fine with it. With Manscaped, <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, and I, we do love Manscaped. Yes. I use it all the time. Uh, there's not a there's not an ounce of hair down there anymore. And I, I just do it for fun a lot of times. I'm like, hey, what am I doing today? I got the day off. Shave my balls. Work that into my schedule. <laughs> okay. How about you? <laughs> uh, I don't get that granular with it, but yeah, it's absolutely doing the job. For you, it's more of a special occasion thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all know how essential the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is for the precise trim below the waist. Their advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts to your most delicate areas. But now you can enhance your perfect grooming routine with their ultra premium collection. Whoa. Do you want to know what this package includes? <laughs> tell me all about it. Sean, I'm going to tell you all about it. The package includes the Manscaped premium deodorant. No, not for your balls. We're, we're changing things up today. Whoa. For your stanky armpits. This deodorant dries clear, is aluminum free, and smells like their signature scent. Does deodorant have aluminum in it? Not this one. Not this one. I didn't know that other deodorants have it. It's a problem. I, I will. I, 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 I renounce all deodorants unless they're aluminum free. Hydrating body moisturizer. Have tattoos or issues with dry skin? It's designed to keep skin feeling clean, smooth, and smelling fresh. You got any tattoos? No, but that skin problem definitely can uh, relate to that. I don't have any tattoos, but when I get, I'm going to get a tattoo just to have an excuse to use this moisturizer. A, a Manscaped tattoo, of course. Of, of course. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I don't know. We'll think about it. I do love Manscaped, but let's, let's, right, let's, let's not enough. get crazy fair here. <laughs> you will use their product. I will use their product on the tattoo. Yes. I'm just not committing to a Manscaped tattoo. <laughs> 
We'll talk. Anyway, um, body wash to lather you up with their infused aloe vera and sea salt shower gel. Two in one shampoo and conditioner to clean your scalp with one easy step. I hate having to shampoo, wash it out. And it's like, oh God, I'm late for the, the big game. And then I'm like, oh God, now I got a condition. Now just one, one and done, one and done. We got shit to do. We got places to be. One and done. Shower and condi uh, shampoo and conditioner. Um, plus a free gift. A three pack set of lip balm that is made up with ingredients such as vitamin E, peppermint, and eucalyptus oil to keep those chappers feeling moist. We love moist chappers, don't we? Yes, we do. Never make that sound again. <laughs> <laughs> that was those chappers. Those chappers were a little more too boys. I didn't like that. I need that chapstick. <laughs> you do. You do. That's four products and a gift inside the ultra premium collection. What a score. All of these products are cruelty free, paraben free, vegan friendly and dye free. The best ingredients with zero compromise. How's that make you feel? Pretty good. Yes. I love when I clean myself knowing that there was no cruelty involved. I recommend using the products in this order. Hop in the shower and scrub a dub dub that body with the Manscaped body wash. Lather your hair up with the two in one shampoo conditioner. Keep your noggin toggin. Dry off and spray on the hydrating body moisturizer to reinvigorate dry skin. Put on the Manscaped deodorant for obvious reasons. Pop that Manscaped lip balm on. No one is out here kissing chapped up lips, okay guys? I know, I'm single and sometimes I go on dates and they're like, your lips are so chapped, you loser, and then they leave. And they never get a chance to see my completely shaved balls because I screwed it up with the lips. But now I never will again with this chapstick. Getting dressed after is optional, of course. Wear one great scent all day long. Get that ultra premium collection hot off the shelves. You ready to get that collection? I already placed my order. Good. And uh, when you did, I hope you knew that you get 20% off and free shipping with the code HackTheMovies at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code HackTheMovies at Manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now in a bottle, thanks to Manscaped. <sighs> so, so then Leatherface is there. I mean, you know it's him. They don't call him that yet, and they keep yeah. trying to hide his face. Which is her, well, she says it's her son, but they, I guess that's- showing that orphanage photo. Well, no, yeah. they, they, she explicitly says, I had a bunch of little boys and girls and all kinds of stuff come through here over the years, and I took care of all of them, the good ones, the bad ones, the leather faces, all of them. <laughs> I, I will say this probably does create the biggest plot hole in this movie for me. Is how Agreed. the fuck did he? I know this town's like run down, much like it was even in '74. Yeah. But like, you're telling me for 30 years in this town of a, the joke, by the way, 1974 people. If you saw the sign, that's oh, funny. I, didn't even. Uh, I said that weird, but anyway, uh, <laughs> no one found this guy just hanging out in this house, not really doing anything. I mean, you see some newspaper clippings that. Implies, well, no one knew what he looked like. Nobody knew what he looked well, like. Well, yeah, I and guess. He, I, I, I don't think uh, Leatherface had a birth certificate. I'm gonna go <laughs> you sure? wild. Lather face is that what it says? <laughs> <Leatherface>. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Larry Etherface. Yeah. Uh, there's a Larry <laughs> Etherface here. I hate that we just forget about Nubbins and uh, Drayton. Uh, it's just yeah. like, eh. no, they're they show like a clip of Grandpa for like a sec, a, like a frame. But yeah, no, like that's the one issue with this because like the old lady's clearly not like crazy. No, no, because Leatherface hasn't done any. So I guess Leatherface turned himself into the orphanage. Wandered into an orphanage. <laughs> oh, bloody with his chainsaw. Yeah. And then she's like, I'll take you in. Don't kill people. And he's like, oh, I guess I won't kill people. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Put, yeah. put your chainsaw behind a cement wall. Uh, You'll we'll never need it again. I'm getting to that because that <laughs> I had a problem with that. Okay. Why? Well, she she so, they, they bring her out into the, 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 the police car, basically, to get her to the hospital. And Leatherface goes this in there This is the quickest I've ever seen cops come to arrest a white woman. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> well, they're, they're there to yell at her about getting out, Yeah, too. they're like, what are you doing they're here? They're fucking grabbing this poor woman. And he's like, come on, grandma. Like, get the fuck. Out of here! There had to be another way to go about this. I Later think across the back seat of the van, something. Yeah. And then Leatherface goes in there. They not, they make a point not to show his face, so I guess he's not deformed. Mark Burnham, by the way, who does a fucking great job as Leatherface I, in this. I do. Have I, you guys ever seen Wrong Cops? No. no. The Quentin Dupieu movie. The no. guy who did Rubber. I never saw Rubber. I oh, wanted man, to. I never got around to seeing yeah. it. Yeah, Mark Burnham's cool. I I, uh, I don't know if this was intentional, but I like how he kind of like. 
in the little bit you could see of the hair and the eyes, I was like, oh, that could maybe be Gunner. I don't it, know if that was intentional. It looks like Gunner when you see him a little bit with the mustache yeah. and the... And he he doesn't kinda. look 70 either. I'm just going to say that. He looks like maybe 50 or 60. We'll get to that. I forget. Did you, did you ever meet Gunner Hansen? Yeah. Do you I, have? Don't, I don't have a picture with him. Oh. It was like one of the first conventions I ever went to. I have I have his autograph, but yeah. it was like a reunion. So I met like Marilyn Burns and uh, oh, Paul Partain cool. and Ed Neal was there and Gunner. They were all there. Ed O'Neill? Ed... Edwin Neal. Ed oh, I Neal. thought you said Ed O'Neill. No, not Ed O'Neill. Hey, want to fucking play some football? Yeah, I'm like, I'm punting. <laughs> <laughs> With that little giant Jess, Jessica, yeah, please or cut. Coat. Jessica or Sean. Uh, please, Sean, are you editing this right now? I'll find out after this recording. <laughs> Wait, what? Please cut to a picture of me, awkward 14-year-old Tony with Gunnar Hansen. Put it, put it right there. There I am. <laughs> so full of life. And so many years ahead of me. So excited. Tony, you're going to grow up to be a real great young man. He really is a really nice guy. No, he was super He nice. did not like the remake. Anyway. <laughs> he was great uh, in Mosquito. I love him in Mosquito. <laughs> he really loved the sequel to the remake when they actually asked him to come in for a season. Or was that 3D? That might have been 3D. That was 3D. That was, that was, uh, oh, God, it was 3D. Papa uh, Sawyer. So, okay. Uh, I know the other sequels have done this, too. So Leatherface is, like, just supposed to be a guy. Well, he's a guy, but he's also a simpleton. All right. Yes. He's 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 mentally challenged. But or however, whatever the PC thing is, way to say that a human man. Yeah. Tr straight up. As he's far as I can tell, I know. If three and four are canon, I don't know how he survived the chainsaw through the cut. But <laughs> it's not canon, Tony. This is a direct. This is the fourth direct sequel. But I'm just fifth saying, direct sequel. Most of these movies tried to depict him as just kind of like a normal guy, like a bigger guy. Obviously, he's a he's a brick shit house, but he's he, just a dude. He is in his. He has to be his mid to late seventies. He's, he's seventy five. He should be 75. He, he should not. be 75. Was he Vince McMahon before his, you know, everything went downhill when he used to be jacked? Like, I don't, he's just, he's, Apparently I, mean, in, I picture like, like my wife's grandfather who used to like, you know, sling like pig slop up a fucking like flight of stairs, like big dude, but heavy or, but strong as hell basically is what I'm saying. That, yeah. That's what I picture Leatherface. And you're sure shit ain't sprinting or running around at least. He might, okay, he, yeah, might yeah. he might throw a, a hefty also, punch still. I didn't see a gym in that orphanage. No. Uh, this is a town that's literally supposed to be starving. Where is he getting all the protein? Like, what is he eating? He is should he be just trapping? Face. Should be skinny face. And like, that's that's another problem. With, right, so the problems are showing up like right here. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Leatherface is now Jason. He literally breaks the cops as soon as the mom dies. He's like, I'm a killer again. Yeah. I guess she was like keeping him at bay. That was I guess, constant. I guess. But he breaks the cop's arm so the bone sticks out and then stabs him with the bone. In the throat. It was kind of cool. Yeah. I was like, that's cool. I was, it would be cool in like a different movie. Yeah. And this one, I'm like, he's an elderly man. Yeah. Uh, it causes like a crash. And then he survives that crash. And then he's like, well, I'm just going to cut my mom's face off. And that's the most leather face it ever gets it's, with the face. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, and that's the thing. Like what I said, like, where's he getting the protein to eat? I'm like, that'd be cool if there were like dead animals in the back yeah, of that orphanage. I mean, we don't know that. There's, we never see it. The rest of this movie is just generic slasher. But that's not what, and go back and watch our worst. Shut that's, up, Tony. You're supposed to like it and not question no. it and, t and tell everybody on the internet you, you love this movie. And no. You can't believe why people don't like it. We talked about it in the worst Texas Chainsaw movie. Like, the ones that are just about Leatherface chasing people are usually, like, the worst ones. Yeah, because it sucks. It's, a, it's about the family and yeah. the cannibalism and the macabre and the, the, the furniture made of skeletons. The, and the madness. All of that's gone. Yeah. It's just my mom died. I'm Jason. It's a revenge this, movie. This is like the second time they tried to make Leatherface. J a third time, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and he's uh, like, they, they well, do this with Halloween too. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I guess Jason is just the the all time greatest slasher killer ever, he's according to every popular. other franchise. He's the, definitely the most popular. I think he's the most one dimensional. But even still, those movies have stories that people just tend to forget. Well, my yeah. point you is, know, there's, ever, there's story arcs in those films of like yeah. the characters, but they're like, I don't give a shit. Well, Jason's killing people. Now Leatherface is killing people. Why do you care what's happening <laughs> around everywhere? I, I guess. I mean, I said this on the other episode on the worst Texas Chainsaw movie, which one it, which one is the worst Texas Chainsaw yeah. movie. But it's just like, why does every major slasher villain have to just be fucking Jason? I don't know. I, because, it's it's because it sells. Because most <laughs> slashers are silent. 
so they can't really rip off. Bad. They can't really rip off Freddy too much, yeah. except for like Chucky and Leprechaun. I guess it's just. But Chucky and Leprechaun will never be as popular as Freddy. Maybe Chucky these days because yeah. of the TV show and oh, shit. Oh, that, that's got a whole resurgence. Yeah. Um, Going back to the masks, though, I thought it looked like shit in the trailer, but I didn't actually mind it as the film went on. Can we, can we talk about there's a guy on Twitter or a person on Twitter who has been photoshopping someone into the sunflower field with Leatherface every, every day. day until they forget? Yeah. Oh, no. And it's like John Cena, Shrek. Shrek. I think Optimus Prime is in there. So. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think that shot might be digital. I don't even think he's like actually in the field. It, when we get to that, like in the movie, you're like, oh, yeah. that was it? He's yeah. just like. And then it's like a hard cut to him like walking out of the, the fucking field. I don't know why he jumped right to like, my mom's dead. Oh, I got to wear her face now. And <laughs> well, by the way, no strap. No, yeah. it just sticks to his face. Let's, let's which try, let's, it might happen. It could work. Let's it, try it. Let's try it. It does look like it's let's slipping it. off. Oh, no. My mom is dead. I'm a oh, <laughs> You got, hold on, hold on, hold you on. Need, gonna, you need the sinewy uh, entrails on the yeah. inside. Oh, huh? yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get it right this time. Don't worry, blonde girl in the truck. I'm going to kill you soon. Let me put on my scary... Oh, <laughs> fuck. Like that? Like, how is it sticking to his face? <laughs> yeah. I, you need the strap. <laughs> you do? It is kind of a stupid mask. It's real droopy. Because it's always falling off. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but like, even the face is like... Yeah. It's uh, sad Alice Creech. It is. I can't believe dead. it's Alice Creech. She's sad. She's like, why did you have to do that to my house? Well, then, <sighs> well, he, my then boy. he goes and then he finishes the uh, the the sheriff off because he won't just. He like, hits him with the just... oxygen. He hits him with his mother's oxygen. By the way, when he breaks that fucking cop's hand, he like pulls his gun out and then oh. he shoots the other cop through the throat. Yeah. So he's like, that's why he crashed the car. Just like Halloween kills. Cop shoots you, another you don't, cop through you the don't throat. You don't say. <laughs> but then there's like this other character who... I'll mention briefly because she dies here and you never hear about her again. Who is part of the the, the group of people that are coming in by in the town who's like yeah. trying to get away and be silent and not get caught. She gets caught and gets choked out and stabbed. And it's like, okay. Yeah. The stab is pretty. The kills are pretty brutal. I'll yeah. give it that. The kills are cool. And like, if that's what you walk away from this movie at uh, uh, the fucking eighth Texas Chainsaw, ninth, ninth. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. If that's a good not counting you, the spin off The Butcher Boys, which apparently is not very good, I heard. I mean, um, or the comics. <laughs> we're not supposed to expect any more than that, Tony. Yes. We're not yeah. supposed to expect a good story or good storytelling, just gore or good characters. Just, yeah. just like this is. Again, I'll, I'll give a little bit of credit to the new Halloweens. They they had an idea, a reason to bring it back. I mean, at the end of the day, it's money. Yeah. But yeah, watching this scene, I'm like, oh, there you go. It's another guy with a mask chopping people up. But now it's strictly for revenge. It's not to survive or eat. Yeah, it's less or, cool. It's, yeah. He's John. It's building up. <laughs> this is Leatherface John Wick, and I'm not making that up. It's true. He's literally John Wick, and there's a John Wick scene coming. So, uh... Back at the town, uh, you find out the mechanics annoyed that the kids are moving in, which apparently this is a thing going on in Texas right now. Uh, to, uh, like hardcore Texans, they're annoyed at uh, liberals from California moving to their state. Oh. I just because it's like, all right, you were in California, you voted for a lot of things that you regretted, now you moved. I don't live in Texas, sure. is what I hear Texas people saying. So the movie's reflecting that, where they're yeah. like, oh, now you're gonna come here. Like, god damn it. <laughs> like, I don't want to get hyper political. It's a little hard because it does lean on a lot of those topics. It, with this movie, it yeah. does, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, I just, just, this is like just me in my own brain thinking, like, why would you want to move somewhere that everyone believes the opposite for the most part? Like, what are, what are you gaining? Like, you're gonna like convert them? Like, is this like a religious kind of thing? I, I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments, <laughs> let me know. Like, what is the logic? Just, just go somewhere where they agree. We're gonna start agree? fresh. We're gonna start fresh, Sean. Nobody's <laughs> out here. It's a fucking ghost town. We're gonna get people are gonna um, open up a comment. Comic book shop and a restaurant and all kinds of shit. But yeah, yeah this is also where we get the anti-gun thing. Yeah. Like the girl is like into the gun a little bit because she survived the shooting. Well, oh yeah, yeah, in his sh in his shop, right? Yeah, she's trying to like and overcome the, the fear yeah. of it. And she's like, I was shot. He's like, Oh, is your dad drunk? Which actually, I dated a girl whose mom got shot by her boyfriend. Oh, she lived. God. She lived, but it was like I was like drunk and. I think using his gun as a hammer or something. I'll never understand that shit, man. <laughs> never understand. That's just people joke. being idiots. Yeah. Uh, uh, or he was like cleaning the gun and it went off. But no, she's like, no, I went to high school. And it's like, oh, God. <laughs> like, even the dude's like, oof, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. But then they like, they show a little bit of the high school. Which again, I, I personally, for this film, I think this is a little too deep of a topic for this film to try to take on. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can do whatever you want. You can do it. 
You can do it. I don't think it works in this movie. I don't think we needed to see the flashback. We definitely, it's not as bad here. We're going to come back to this flashback where it comes back at a really inappropriate time. They're really trying to do that like Sarah Connor thing with this character, hardcore. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be like, here's a traumatic experience, and now I'm trying to get over it or whatever by going through another traumatic experience yeah. to get over it. So, uh, they come back, they find out the girl died. Oh, we forgot to mention. But blonde girl before yes. Leatherface kills her in the sunflower field. She manages to radio the gas station guy. He's wearing her face. A guy with a mask. There's a guy. He's wearing a face. He's got a face on. I think it's Leatherface. It's yeah. the TM. Yes, and then the gas station guy's like, oh no, my good friend Sally from the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. <laughs> Hey, she needs to hear about Sa this. Sally Hardesty from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1, 1974. Leatherface is back. And, 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 then, and then some other old lady answers. She's like, yeah, I'll pretend to be Sally. I don't <laughs> Sally died. <laughs> Sally died a few years ago, but I... I, I <laughs> that's the sequel I want to see where that's just some crazy lady pretending to be <laughs> Sally. That's why nothing she does at the end makes any sense. No, oh my God. And like I, I mentioned that she's Irish earlier and I'm, I'm joking a little bit because I'm, I mean, I'm not from Ireland, but I'm very Irish. Myself. You're Irish? Oh, fucking Leatherface there. Yeah. O'Rourke? I thought O'Rourke was Scandinavian. <laughs> well, surprise, Tony, it's not. Oh, uh, darn. But you can like, she loses her, she slips this accent constantly. Yeah. She's trying to do the Texan accent, but she like certain words you hear that Irish bro coming yeah. out. And it's like, all right, man, this is a fucking, again, the ninth mm. Texas Chainsaw that was failed and then bought by Lionsgate or whoever the fuck owns Legendary it now. Legendary did this and, one. And put out eight months later, so uh, why am I surprised? Did but. you see Mandy? I have it on, uh, I have it downloaded, but have yet to actually watch it. She is in Mandy. She's one of the cult. Did you see Mandy? Not yet. What? I didn't see it yet. Whoa. Fuck this movie. Let's talk about new good horror movie. <laughs> Mandy is fucking awesome. That was like Probably the best movie I saw in 2018. Holy shit. My wife watched it without me, and then I was like, I'll get to it. And then I was like, you want to watch this? She's like, I just watched it. I'm like, all right, fuck it. You, you're going to want to watch gotta, it. You're, I got to get to it. Joe, you're going to want to watch that. I Mandy. know. Um, no, she's really, really good in that. She's like the main cult leader guy who is Bruce Wayne's dad from Batman Begins. Okay. Oh. If you ever wanted to know what Bruce Wayne's dad's dick looked like, watch Mandy. Oh, perfect. And then when you watch Batman Begins to I mean, build I know what that guy's dick looks like. You're like, I know <laughs> Bruce Wayne when he's dying and saying that nice stuff to his son. And be like, I know what that guy's dick looks like. <laughs> I know what it looks like. Dad, I saw your dick. When you watch Batman Begins to build up to The Dark Knight Rises, because before my scene, you got to like really prepare yourself. Yeah. Which you do this often, I think. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, you excited <laughs> for the, the new Batman movie? Uh, as long as you're not in it. Wow. <laughs> I was just going to say yes, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Well, we can agree it's going to be, at the most, the second best Batman movie. It'll probably mm. We'll see. We'll we see. We'll we, won't see say, we'll, we won't say what the first one is because I think we all agree what it is. Batman anyway. eighty nine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we here? Yes. Um, so the mechanic is upset with the town, the, the kids who are auctioning off the buildings, and it's like you sons of bitches killed that old lady. Yeah. And they're like, we owned her house. He's like, all right. So he takes their keys. He's like, prove to me you own the house. And uh, I'll give you your keys back. Well, so they're like, they're, they tell as creatures, they're like, oh, do you have the deed? Like, show us the deed. And she's like, I got it, but I don't need to show you shit. Yeah. What she doesn't, they could be like, all right, we'll get like a court order or something. <laughs> the way That's that what they, they should have done. I know. Instead of being like, get out. Just Love call them. the cops. Plot. Anyway, yeah. I know, I know. So I know. like the one girl, the social justice girl is starting to feel bad. Because she's, I think she finally realized, which is unrealistic, social justice girls, <laughs> they will never admit they will they will defend themselves to the bitter end. But no, this one's like, I think I might have stepped over the line here. Uh, yeah, it's very unrealistic. Yeah, she well. was just like, she was just like, uh, do, are you sure we have the deed? And the guy's like, yeah, I totally have it. Oh, probably left it back home. And they're like, well, In the Austin. old lady shouldn't have it if the bank has it. So they have to go into the house to investigate oh, well, it. Well, that was like a combination of people trying to like, no, oh yeah, no, we took care of it. Stop worrying, obviously. Yeah. Chris says that she she cleared up with the bank and like paid him off too. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then like you just said, this character goes into their house and fucking finds it. Yep. Meanwhile, Leatherface is now in full like kill mode and yeah. has returned. Yeah. She says to him in the van before, right before she dies, her last words are, don't go in my room. Stay out of my room. Good night. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes! Yes! 
Grandpa's well, in there. Yeah. <laughs> no grandpa. <laughs> He's under the bed. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, then, then we finally get to see Sally here. Oh, yeah. And she, yeah, guys. Woo! Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And like I said, I, I know... I know a lot can change in 40 years, but I never saw this character becoming a badass. No. No. I think Texas Chainsaw 4 was probably was right. She's catatonic she's in a catatonic hospital. catatonic in a hospital, yeah. She's, yeah. she's in a fucking rubber room, dude. She's not slaughtering pigs and waiting for Leatherface to unveil himself again. I, I could see like an H2O. Or it's been fit, like 40, 50 years. Like, yeah. I assume she has other stuff to deal with by now. Yeah, like, she's trying to get better. I, I, I know what I mean. I could see like maybe an H two O scenario where she like moved and changed her name and is trying to like get away from it. I mean, then it doesn't make any sense for Leatherface to go after her. But I could see in that kind of a scenario. But here it's mm. just like why? Uh. Yeah. Um. And again, Leatherface wasn't the main guy. No. Like he's the memorable one. But like Leatherface was just kind of there. He's the monster with the chainsaw. Yeah, like, it was yeah. like the other guys were the were the problem. They were lure like Drayton was like luring people there, and so was the uh, Nubbins. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's like the Leatherface wasn't a problem until they went to their house. It's like just <laughs> don't go to strangers' houses, lady. You'll be fine. You shouldn't you shouldn't be going around poking your nose where it don't belong. Don't Tony. visit your grandparents. I don't think she was ever going to visit her grandparents' house ever again. Well, they visited Leatherface too, <laughs> or or vice versa. <laughs> But they yet, were eaten. She, she's in the house looking for the deed, and the other dude, uh, I think his name's Dante, like the Dante, main guy. Dante, yes. He, he's also in there, because now he's like sweating, like, oh, maybe I did fuck up. And then this is when Leatherface finally says, all right, hello, I have my butcher knife now. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I, have, her. I have it here. Dante lied about the deed, followed by Dante dead. But he not really. A, a prolonged death. Yes, yeah, he just it's gets slashed good. with a knife. So then the he girl- gets a hatchet to the mouth. Half yes. a glass uh, jaw <laughs> smile. Yeah. So the the one sister is hiding, not the gun victim one, the curly haired one. Glasgow, Glasgow. I Glasgow. always I always get that one. So wrong. curly hair sister is hiding. I don't know, care about any of their names. Uh, <laughs> curly haired sister is hiding in a closet. Yeah. And then Leatherface, because the person who wrote this movie never watched these movies, he is now suddenly Norman Bates. He's wearing his mom's skin. Well, he's, one, he he's, was inspired. One of the in inspirations. Yeah, but. For the original killer who inspired Texas. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree. What's I his agree. name again? Uh, Ed, Ed Gein. Gein. Oh. But now he's like wearing the dress. He's not wearing the dress. He's holding the dress and he starts putting makeup on the face. Mm -hmm. And I know Leatherface dressed up like women in the past. That's that's fine. But I don't think he was trying to be his mother. No. I don't think he was that's, trying to. He, that's like, a little Norman Batesy. And they go full on in like Texas Chainsaw 4, like Next Generation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so then. It's literally, I, I can't stress enough, this is John Wick. Have you seen John Wick? Yes. Yeah, right, okay. exactly. John Wick gets a sledgehammer. He starts <laughs> hitting the ground He's where, out of where, where the weapons from his past exist. No. Apparently, Leatherface's original chainsaw is in the wall of his mother's room, and he takes a sledgehammer and starts breaking it out, but it's like... It's not his mom. Whatever. Uh, it's just, For all intents stupid. and purposes, it's his mom. Yeah. And I said intense and purposes, okay. not intensive purposes. You ever meet someone who says that? Intensive purposes? Yeah, you ever meet someone who says no. that? Oh, it's pretty bad. It's like when people say irregardless. <laughs> mm. I filmed that a little side tangent. I filmed a uh, seminar once, and this guy was kept saying irregardless, and there was a dude in the audience going like, come on, man. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, Winning. yeah, the chainsaw is in... It's in the wall. Yeah. And I guess we're made to believe... That it's like we had to hide the evidence. Well, that's what it is. Like, but Alan it's Trees was like, oh, okay, I'll take this. I'll put it. Let's put it in a wall. Take that fucking skin off your face he, and clean you up. But but why put it in the? Just throw it away. He also only killed Franklin with it in the movie. Also, it's well in the movie, but there who else is has no it killed? evidence on that thing that could be used. No, years later, it's all mixed together. Also, why <laughs> he doesn't just have another chainsaw? Like he didn't just yeah, go he to the store. Doesn't have like a like an extra chain or some gasoline. It just works. Why it didn't it need to be the original chainsaw? That's weird. Why isn't he just at the house? Like the Texas Chainsaw well, House. He's oh, he's he, did, that. did you not watch? No, I saw the yeah, stinger, okay, but okay. I'm just, it, it's clear. It's clear that nobody's there. So why the fuck is he even I, in I don't the know why town? the chainsaw's there. They wanted the John Wick visual. Yeah. It also reminds me of Rob Zombie's Halloween where the mask was under the floorboards. Like that mask would have been rotted. What are you doing? Well, and they're also trying to build a little tension because that woman's in there. And, and it's I like, get okay. that, but like, it's just, it's so stupid. It's, 
His chainsaw, like, I, he just needs a chainsaw. It doesn't matter what chainsaw it is. And you know what would have been fine? If he went across the street to the to the garage and there was a chainsaw in there. Or, or if he just had one laid around. Like, yeah. Chainsaws aren't guns. You can just buy a chainsaw. No, I know. But, like, Alice Creech's thing was, like, don't don't look at the chainsaw. Don't think about the chainsaw. You won't kill anybody. I'm going to be your protector or something. Sure. Oh, my I God. I didn't say it was good. I'm just saying that's the Then what the was logic. the sledgehammer doing well, there? Because he also used sledgehammers to kill people. That was grandpa's. That was a memento. Yeah. That was in her, <laughs> that was in her underwear memento. drawer, man, like under her panties and stuff. Okay. Saving that one. Uh, well, well, he had the sledgehammer so that the, the, the guy with the gun that, that is upset about what's happening to his town can run in and meet this sledgehammer to the kneecap. Yeah, and then get his brains bashed in while the girl's hiding under. Now this scene was, was kind of fun. That was good, though. That was good. This, again, this would have been a good scene in like a better movie, yeah. I think where so. she's hiding under the bed. I've seen the scene in like other movies, sure. but like just the Vin Diesel's head just constantly getting uh, like smashed. It reminded smashed. me of like Irreversible. Yeah, that dude's get his head smashed. Or I just the... watched a. We have a Midsummer episode coming up. Oh, where they're go, just yeah. hammering oh, people's heads yeah. in Midsummer. Oh, yeah. Man, so when he gets it to the kneecap though, yeah, and his leg just bends backward. Like uh, yeah. what's that movie? Is that Contact? Oh, oh God! No arrival. <laughs> arrival. Or, not no the arrival. The arrival. Not Delis Villeneuve's uh, arrival. Villeneuve. Yeah, it's the arrival <laughs> yeah. with Charlie Sheen. I, I do yes. like though that you do get the closure on this character of like, no, he actually does fight till the last fucking breath. Yeah. but it doesn't matter. And he gives her the keys. Uh, I fucking I laughed so hard when curly hair chick got hit in the face and fell down the stairs. Oh my, dude, that I laughed out loud for sure. <laughs> That not nothing will ever top the wheelchair being thrown out of the window in Leatherface. <laughs> but this was a close. I was like, ha! like I like lost. I it. did not. It, what happens is he whips the sledgehammer at her. It Ooh. cracks her in the face. She flies down the stairs and breaks through the floor. She beat. Realistically, she'd be dead. Big time. At the most, she'd be concussed and winded. She's not getting up and crawling I, right away. She got smacked right in the face with that thing. She's, I, yeah. I think this version of Leatherface honestly did some shot put in high school <laughs> because he is throwing this sh every weapon. He throws like, he throws the chainsaw like three or four times in this. He throws a sledgehammer at oh least twice. God. You think he's you think he's taking like like cow steroids or something? I like from the he dance. He's like this with the chainsaw and with the, with the sledgehammer and he lets go. <sighs> so... This scene was actually kind of tense where she's, again, two tense scenes back to back. It's But good. where she's underneath the floorboards of the chainsaws coming. Oh. Real unrealistic, but it's cool. I like how it cuts the shit pipe. No, that's when it <laughs> loses me. Why? And I'm like, oh man, this is a real tense scene. And it's like, LOL, covered in poop. Yeah. But I'm like, I, I thought it was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, I don't know. I thought it was fun. I thought it was Oh no, hilarious. they wanted it to be, I, maybe they wanted it to be like, ew. Instead, I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of half expecting like a super shredder thing where he knocked all the support beams out with the chainsaw and it just fucking collapsed on him. But or her head gets fucking sliced <laughs> in half. Uh, she gets away with her sister and they start fucking booking it. It's downpouring out now. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's raining like crazy. So they had an excuse to get poop off the girl. Um, <laughs> well, again, another trope in this series, Tony, one of your favorites, maybe not in this film. Get the t-shirt wet, you know, get more uh, asses in seats. Mem remember how it was real dry and dusty in the first movie? movie? This movie's not playing no. up the sexiness no. like 3D was. No. What were you saying? Is it remember when it was real dry and dusty in the first movie? Now it's real wet and sloppy in this I mean, one. it rains in Texas, I guess. We... <laughs> I'm just saying, Texas. I'm just saying different setting, you know? Yes. We so also didn't talk about it, but just to set up this next scene, that boss does come with all those millennials or whatever yes, you call them. Yes, They're not millennials. I, uh, well, Zoomers. Not yeah, Zoomer, whatever. The 1%. Sure. <laughs> the the uh, stereotype they're making fun of. SJWs. That's yes. what they are. And, and they're waiting because the, when he stole the keys, he stole the, the bus keys too. Yeah, yeah, but they're partying and their guy's like, this bus party's great. They don't know. So we we skipped over. They found Dante. He like made it oh. out and died. And yeah. they're like, well, something's up. So like the girl in charge is like on the bus. She knows what's up. The other ones don't. So Leatherface gets on the bus. <laughs> and it's the scene from the trailer. Where the guy says, you try anything and you're canceled, bro. Try anything and you're canceled, bro. And then he murders all of them. And as someone who's been the victim of cancel attempts, I've never related more to Leatherface in my life. That's, that's, that's why I'm saying this is like, come on, how could you be mad about this? This no, is fucking yeah. funny. It's, uh, this is but like satire. the rest of the movie is not that no, funny. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, it's, I don't think it was... If anything, I feel like place? this was added in to add some kind of humor because wow. the movie's so fucking bland. But uh, yeah, yeah, I do like the comments, like, fake. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. But, so, 
He fucks him up, though. He's like, cuts weird, one man. guy's arm off. Yes. He cuts uh, Dante's girlfriend in half. Oh, man. He stabs this one dude, and he's like, oh, shaking yeah. him into another, like the fucking vor. He's special, man. And also, he's doing it with cool multicolor LED lights like John Wick. He sure it's is. It's like John Wick with the neon lights and shit. I didn't even think of that. He's with literally the precision of John Wick, too. Fucking Jessica, can you, or Sean, uh, can you find the clip of John Wick going like, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back, but put Leatherface on <laughs> People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. I also love how this People emergency- People keep saying to my back, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, too, like this emergency exit doesn't open at all until the last possible second just so our two lead characters can escape yeah. while all the other well, people are butchered. Well, okay. it's not even an, an exit. It's his so fucking window the at the escape, top of the oh, bathroom. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, can we all agree? That this scene is played for like fun. It's like, oh, Leatherface is on the bus. He's chopping people up. And 100%. Yeah. 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 Not a good time to do a flashback to a school shooting. I thought I was like, ooh, ah, yeah. It's so the contrast between the first part of the scene and this end part of the scene are like, what the fuck mm. just happened? And again, if it was filmed differently where yeah. the violence is horrifying, maybe that would have worked. I'm I not mean, saying, is, I'm not saying horrifying. don't try it. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have tried it, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, it probably could have worked. But when it's literally like you're canceled, bro, lol, oh, text message, oh, oh, and then Last it's like track. school shooting. It's like, yeah. oh my god, yeah, oh my god, that's horrifying. Yeah. It's a roller coaster of emotions that don't really work. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, ah, oh, I would have cut that out. I no, I get what you're going for. I don't think we needed the flashback to the school shooting. Like, I think because she's got like it. in the blood and it's all like you know, because she has like a little bit of survivor's guilt. Which is like yeah. a thing that happens. Big time, dude. But it's like, I thought they thought that, that seemed a little tasteless. I'm not saying it couldn't have worked. I just don't think it worked here. No. Especially, especially the monologue she has where she's like, I, you know, they're the lucky ones and I'm not. Yeah. And it's like, uh -huh. Jesus. What by are you trying way, to do here? By the way, a chainsaw is not a gun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could have bum rushed this guy. I think look, that's the joke. Look, some is that a joke? I think it's the joke. That just took me out of it. I'm like, because um, yeah, some people might get killed, some people might get a cut, but you could. It's way easier to stop a chainsaw than a gun. <laughs> like, let's put a bunch of people on a bus yeah. and a guy with a chainsaw, and we'll see how many people run towards him to try to stop. Well, him. it's like what was that? The Men in Black quote. <laughs> I mean, know? once a bunch when we realize well, he's yeah. not stopping, someone something's got to kick sure, in. Sure, but it's like the, like I just said, the Men in Black quote. What was it? Uh, you know, person smart, smart people, people are stupid. Are dumb, yeah. It's it's that kind of thing. But I, I'm just I saying, like I know what they were like going for, but it's like a it's like cha chainsaws and guns are very different. That, that's why I don't agree with this movie trying to like compare them and tie them. Like no, what one is technically a tool? It's not even a weapon. Like, like there's I'm, very very different things. I'm telling you, I think that's the fucking goof, man. Uh, well, he chases. So them, Sally of shows up. Oh god, yeah, Sally shows up, and she's, she's just sitting there in her car, like waiting. And then she's like, "You're the bait or something." Yeah, she's gonna use them as bait. And then Sally confronts Leatherface, who suddenly has decided he's not really into killing. He wants to think about his sad mom, dead mom. Uh, also, she found the, adoptive the, mom. She found the mom's corpse in the field. Who cares? Uh, so Sally's there. It's, it's starting again, Tony. Yeah, and she's like, "Say you know me. Say my name." And it's like, <laughs> I don't think Leatherface ever knew your name. Not only did he not know his name, he don't. He doesn't give a fuck. You're just meat. To also, him. like. I, I think we all gather that he wasn't playing with a full deck. No, I, like, no. A hundred percent. He can't. And he, care again, he was not the mastermind. He was just the guy in the house. The muscle. And they said his brothers were like, kill this person. Okay. And he did. He wasn't yeah. like, it's not Michael Myers. No. It's not Jason. You can't trick me into thinking that. He's not, a, he's not a, he's not a clever killer. He's a sporadic, insane, uh, uh, brutalizer. But then they just like, shoot him. Uh, you're right. Well, because she's standing there with this fucking shotgun, and oh it's the only time in the movie where someone confronts him and he just kind of like farts off into another room. Yeah, he just walks away. Like, I thought she was. She I thought was, you wanted to. Why is he not trying to kill her? She was so upset that, like, he, he, she, he, like, needed another reason. She was like, come on, tell me you know who I am and what you did before I kill you. And she's naming the other people. I'm like, I don't think he knew their names. Wheelchair guy? Yeah, yeah. Just, Afro guy, and he seems to have not cared about her. He never looked for her or anything. Mm -hmm. Like now, I saw somebody mention this on Twitter, and I, I, I was thinking about it as we're going through the review. I wonder if, and this has made me just a real, a real fucking stretch, where it's like 
they're come they're the outsiders coming into his home turf so he's killing them where sally is like ah, she just lives here now who i don't care if i, I highly her. doubt that. I, i'm stretching this thing like, that is that know, that is a stretch that, and i yeah. don't mean caroline williams from a much better Texas Chainsaw movie. Zing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not defending it by saying that at all. I'm just throwing out a theory. Yeah. And then Sally waits for him to attack the girls instead of just <laughs> blowing his brains out. And then she does the whole, like, now you remember me. It's like, you never did anything to him. You only ever ran away from him. Also, I'm the one that got away. Yeah. He also doesn't, he the, still the, doesn't the know that it's The fat trucker you. is the one who threw the hammer that made him go, where's the fat trucker? <laughs> With the wrench, he who just ran away at the end. <laughs> Imagine the Black Maria came in and just ran him down at the end of the Whatever night. happened to that guy? He's the hero that we deserve. He got a life, Tony. <laughs> he was like, fuck, I'm not moving to Texas. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so, th so then Leatherface decides to do a cat and mouse for five seconds and then gives up because then he's hiding and then he just he just runs out of the shadows. <laughs> well, and, and that goes against what you were just saying. Why doesn't somebody just, you know, shoot him while he's running at them or he bum rush him? Like he literally charges at this moment and she shoots him with a shotgun three times, doesn't kill him somehow and he just fucks her up royally. You got to preface this with the fact that like he runs around a corner and it's a dark alley and she's <laughs> looking down this dark alley. And he just literally runs out of the shadows at her. Yeah. And she misses every fucking shot. Well, they bounce off like the chainsaw, hit him like in the shoulder, barely. Shoot him in the fucking knee. That's not how a shot, unless there's slugs oh, well. in there, that's not how a shotgun works. It's a scatter shot. So, he would have got 20 in the chest and the chainsaw. So Sally gets fucked up with the chainsaw. <laughs> it's the best kill, I it's would say. It's pretty cool. But like, I, I wrote here, have you guys ever seen Reno 911 Miami? Yes. I've seen it, but I don't know. What okay, you're okay. This would have been funnier if just Sally showed up unannounced like The Rock did in Reno 911 <laughs> Miami. Like, I'm the one who's going to save the day, and then they just die right on. That's my favorite scene. Yeah, the I forgot Rock comes about in, that. Yeah, when yeah, The Rock yeah. comes in and goes, they call me the Condor, which was when I wrestled one time, professional wrestled, not high school wrestled. I called myself the Condor. Uh, where he, yeah, he comes in. He's like, they call me the Condor. I'm the, mo and then he blows himself up. Like that would have been way funny for an old lady. She's like, I'm Sally. I'm here to save you. I've been waiting for, it. and then she just dies. But it's handled in the same way that you're saying, and I think it's played for a laugh, like to make fun of Halloween. Nah, it would have been better with no buildup if she just yeah. showed up. Yeah, I guess. I agree with you, but I'm also agreeing with what Joe's saying. It's, it, it, it reminds is me. Goof. It's totally. It reminds it's me of. Be a goof. It reminds me of Johnny Depp in the 21 Jump Street movie. I mean, I know he's technically in the movie, but he's disguised. Yeah. But when he just shows up at the end, he just fucking and, and dies. dies. Yeah. yeah, that's what I want to see. That would have been funny. <laughs> but also, like, you know, it would be even more ridiculous. Let's, let's say that was Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, I don't know. Laurie Strait. Whatever the fuck. Strode. Laurie Strode. Strode. Laurie, yeah. who gives a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he was coming towards her, probably would have killed him because he walks. Like, Leatherface has a history of running at people with a dangerous weapon. Again, yeah. the man is 75. And yeah, he's, he's 75 overweight. Okay, uh, we have two young and he's, fit He's girls. been overweight his whole life, yeah, it so seems. So he's got heart problems, right? <laughs> Look, I don't know if, if uh, uh, the, 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 the mom, you know, put him on a diet, but as she got older, it got harder to Why maintain. Why stop eating that meat and have some, some broccoli? Why some don't pizza. Yeah. <laughs> But when when he's chasing them before they get to the to the uh, car, Sally's car, he's like right on her. Oh yeah, like right behind her. I'm like that. Get the fuck out of well, here. Well, speaking yeah. of Sally's car, first Sally, boom, gets like you know up in the air, chainsaw, yeah. and then he oh, yeah. fires it on while she's in the air. Should be instantly dead, but yeah. it's a movie. It's a good one. It's a good uh, kill. So and then <laughs> flings her ass like garbage into a pile into of garbage. garbage. So Sally gives. The, the the school shooting victim a gun because she's not up to date on her backstory and she's like he'll never stop haunting you and it's like maybe if we like we know she's haunted by the shooting yeah but we never got anything from this girl where she's haunted by the shooter specifically no, no. just the the and the there's aftermath. not even there could have been a stuff because a lot of shooters end up killing themselves yeah uh, not all of them, but a lot of them do. You could have put something there where, like she never really got revenge on the guy because. It, but there's nothing like there. She's like, he'll never stop haunting you. And it's like, but that's such an awful the, the girl message. Should, though. Yeah, the girl should be like, yeah, I'm aware. I've already been through this kind of. Um, I'm good. Can I just get out? Yeah, like, can, we, can we just leave? Yeah. But like, this is also another scene where. Like, Honestly, the girl, the school shooter thing, this sounds horrible. It's like, hey, it's way less likely I'm going to meet another guy who runs around with a chainsaw. It's way more likely I'll get shot again. Like, this is. Yeah. I've already been through way worse stuff that's probably more likely to happen. Uh, 
you probably get attacked by a shark before that happens again. Oh, whoa, we're about to get to that. We're about to get to that. So, so they crash the car trying to hit Leatherface as he's, he's killing Instead Sally. of just driving yeah. away. I don't know what, yeah, but like, and they drive at him and he throws the chainsaw <laughs> and she goes, ah! And like, that also, great. that girl should be like, Sally, did you even try to get therapy? Like, <laughs> You're going to run this guy down. Just see it through. Why did you turn the fucking wheel at the last second? I don't know. I don't she know. Panics. I so know, she panics. So it's dumb. <sighs> she's got like rebarb stuck in her. So she tells, you know, Survivor to go. And then she gets the gun from Sally. But Leatherface, again, just walks away into another building. Just leaves the scene. He and she chases, the she chases them down. Yeah. And Leatherface sets up a trap. He's not setting traps. I like this, but it doesn't <sighs> make sense for the character. Yes. And then the, the school shooting victim... In this anti-gun movie, uses a gun to to subdue Leatherface. I'm like, Shh. I'm like, I again, I don't turning it on its head, Tony. Turning I don't think the head. movie's that clever. I think I don't understand. I don't I think, think it's, that it's a goof. I'm telling you, it's not a very good one. No, it's because it doesn't what? feel like a goof. Just real quick, he, Sally shoots him twice with a shotgun. Once in the back, once in the arm. She shoots him here yeah. once, and then he takes the gun from her again. He's not fucking Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Okay? He's a 75-year-old fat man who just got shot fucking seven times and by then a shotgun. And they chainsaw him up through the stomach. Well, okay, yeah. And well, the face, kind of. They fucking tiger uppercut him with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, before we lose that thought that I just set up. Oh, yeah, I'm ago, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. He, he tackles her in this water, this random water that's in, in, in the ground there. Well, well, it, it rained. Yeah. And the, the, the rain filled up a hole in the ground. Okay. Makes anyway, sense keep going. Mark. so she comes out of the water, and I swear to God, there's got to be a side by side here. Deep blue fucking scene when Sam Jackson gets eaten by that shark when it pops out. Leatherface, <laughs> boom, comes out of the water and grabs her leg. He shoots out like a fucking orca getting a seal, dude. He's just like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? Right, then he does get uppercutted with the yeah. chainsaw, and I'm like, well, that didn't kill him. Well, he's about to kill the this, this school shooter victim. She's just, like, giving up. He's ready, yeah. and he's about to yeah. saw her. And then the chick that has the, the, <laughs> the rebar through her leg somehow ripped it out, jumped on his back, and isn't immediately thrown and killed. <laughs> um, And then she picks up the chainsaw to go after him, and it's like, why not just... I would chainsaw right through that fucking guy. Why did she hit him, like, in the chin with it? I don't know. It's so Sequel fucking potential. stupid. Uh, you're, yeah, the, you the, the last it. scene, maybe. Oh, we couldn't have the stinger <sighs> without it, yeah. Yeah, so... So Leatherface dead. Sure. The, the one twin takes Sally's hat. And the picture? And oh, the picture. by the way, the fucking... Is that the picture that Nubbins took that he fucking lit on fire? Is Yeah! Yeah! No, no, that was that was, that was was another one. Oh, it was a different oh. picture. Got they it. took another picture. It, from day. the same angle? Yes. Of all of them? Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. That was from another hitchhiker. They picked gotcha. Up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, he's dead. They don't How do you not know him. that? So stupid. Oh my god. Fucking. Why don't you just like things? You should be appreciate. I know. I should just you like should appreciate things. the fact that we have a new horror, mo a Leatherface movie. I'm just gonna totally forget about that iconic scene in the original <laughs> film. That's supposed to be a sequel to this. One of the many iconic yeah. scenes. Yeah. You're just a bad horror fan. You I know. Appreciate I, this. I sh I'm gonna go get myself thirty lashes after there, this there, review. There are like. 10 probably new horror movies out a day. Like, what are people talking about? Yeah, I don't know. anyway, so they turn on the self driving car. <laughs> this this was kind of funny. The car's again, if this movie just embraced the comedy, yeah. it's like it keeps going, would have been better. Yeah. But it, like it didn't. Mm. So Leatherface pulls the curly hair twin out, cuts her head off in a horrible digital effect. Yeah. Look at this thing. And then other twin. Can't stop it because the car's driving, even though they can just turn the car off. Do you remember? In, you remember in the original movie where Sally was in the back of that pickup truck? Yeah, and the guy was the trying end? to get away. Remember? Remember when the, the last, like one of the last shots, right? Yeah. Another side by side, and then and then Leatherface does the, the dance. Oh, and then he's just dancing. Yeah. That, that that's his shot put form. You know, I never played it. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but isn't that like what they do when they throw the ball? Yeah, it's called shot know. put. Is it the sh no? The shot puts this oh. thing. Whatever that thing is. But, like but 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 I I clap because it was the original chainsaw. <laughs> All and that blood that was on it since '74. Did you know that that was the original apron 
I got the original ape. I got the original apron, the original chainsaw. Sally came back. I, that picture that didn't get burnt up. In look, the, in I, the I'm not going to lie. If he wore any other apron, I would have fucking jumped off a bridge. Where was the tie? I was going to say, where was the damn tie? Where was the black and white tie? Fuck. Yeah, zero stars. Where's the tie, Netflix? Canceling my subscription. No tie, Tony. <laughs> <sighs> So my last note here is this movie sucks. Um, <laughs> so oh yeah, that, that was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 2022. Not the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, when they drop the 3D, is that also just called Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you think the next one will be Texas Chainsaw Massacre Kills? Let's just call it Chain. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Ends. <laughs> they could just call. They've already face. given they up they and called two of the movies Leatherface. Yeah. Just like, so all these credits roll, and we get w what we really came here for, right, guys? Am I right? Oh, Leatherface yeah. Leatherface the walks back to the original Sawyer house. Was Drayton like hanging out, having like a coke, and he's like, oh, God, Bubba? Leatherface, you Holy dumb shit. coon I was shit, like, motherfucker. It was like no one moved into that house. No, it should be deserted. No, you know what? It Maybe it be? is deserted. It should be wrapped in uh, uh, caution tape, uh, police tape. Well, I think in 1973, that tape's gone. Uh, it should be streamering in the wind. Someone either bought it or demolished it or something. Like, Well, I'll tell you right now, if this does get a sequel, I bet you a, a kiss on the cheek if you want it. That, <laughs> oh, that, I don't want that. Thank, thank you for giving me the option. <laughs> I was going to give you a, uh, I was like, uh, Sean, that, you might be lingering on assault here. I was, was going to say know. like 50 bucks, but how I forgot about a I was on beer? camera. How about, how about a beer? Okay, I'll get you a beer. There Better. And maybe a kiss if I feel like it. <laughs> if, the, if they do a sequel, if it doesn't open with him killing whoever's living in that house, that I, I will do that for you, Tony, in several years from now if it actually happens. I mean, it. This I feel like this is going to do well just because it's on Netflix. Yeah. Absolutely. This would have been like Leatherface if this came out in theaters. No one would have fucking saw this. I don't. I don't think so. And the buzz that's been going, the people have been going fucking insane about this. This is a weird one. Like I got it with like Halloween Kills. There was a lot to pick apart in that movie for better or worse. It's a little different. Oh. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. It came off the back of a better movie, but like this. Yeah, people are getting into heated debates. I'm like, it's just another shitty Texas Chainsaw movie with some cool kills, and that's about it. I literally like I turned the movie off. And then I went and watched a better horror movie. Like I just, I, <laughs> I was like, wow, that was really bad. I, I'll talk about it in the episode, but, but yeah. Then I go online and everyone's just fighting. And I saw the fighting beforehand. Yeah. So I'm like, I've been I, seeing it since like last week. Like, yeah. Right, and yeah. I, so I go into this movie and I'm like, cool. Let's see what everyone's arguing about. I'm like, well, it's John Wick. No one else has mentioned it's John Wick. I'm like, this is literally John Wick. It's also funny because they keep saying the same thing. So just like, what did you expect? It's just a stupid movie, and mm. and I and, expected a stupid movie, and I got it. Yeah, no, but uh, but then on the other uh, flip side of that, it's like, well, where are the people that are saying that this movie like sucks so bad? Because uh, all I see is whatever or yo, you don't like it because you don't you don't get um, horror, man. Haven't you ever seen <laughs> the old movies? They don't have stories. I, I think that a lot of people, and I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth here, but it's like. Go back and watch all those other movies, and then come with come at me with the well. What's the big deal? It's you know th well, this I mean, should be better. This should th th this. Well, let's be honest. You watch one and two. I, no, yeah. sure, four, yeah. sure. And, and again. I guess my point is like <laughs> maybe picking me backing off what you just said, Joe. But it's like they've already fucked this up so many times. Like, sure. why are you like? Like, well, why are people mad at people that are like, man, this sucked? It's like, no, well, it, it's Texas Chainsaw and it, it, it respects your... It's like, no, no it, doesn't. it doesn't. It doesn't have cannibalism. It doesn't have a crazy family. No. It doesn't have all the madness. It's, it's just, just another guy in a mask yeah. running around. And, and I liked it, and I'm saying all that. I yeah. thought it was fine. I, I, just, I just have a problem with... Um, People saying that it doesn't have to be good. Like, it doesn't have to have a story. Like, I think that's detrimental to art in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh, let's just fucking like it because everybody else says I should fucking like it. And that's what I feel like this and I get movie it. is. I, uh, maybe some of it goes back to like critics used to shit on these movies all the time. Yeah. So it was like the cool thing to like it. But like, no, you know, some of them suck, guys. Some of them suck. I'll be the first I'm one to so, tell I'm you. So, I'm sorry. Like, I love a lot of these horror movies here, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, Tony's seen my house. Sean's seen my house. Yeah. I love this shit. Yeah. 
But some of it sucks. But some of it sucks. A lot of it sucks, and that's I, okay. What am I looking at over here? The Halloween Five, not very good. Neither is Four. Um, <laughs> but, but, you got a lot. Of, <laughs> by the way, I'll fucking. I'll we die got. That we got. We shit. talked about it in your episode. I think. Yeah. Yes. Go back and, and check yeah. out that. Yeah. Uh, yeah J J Joe got in a lot of trouble for saying he liked Texas Chainsaw Four more than Halloween Four, but like. I also think that, and I didn't get shit. You specifically got shit. I don't I care. think because you said it first. I think because I said that. I, I think I you think said that, it I think first. I said that Halloween 4 sucks. You said it yeah. first. People started typing. Yeah. They overlooked me saying oh, yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I said I the, wish I wish some of the heat off. I wish someone else said Ghostbusters Afterlife suck before <laughs> I did. <laughs> I mean, not on this panel, but I thought it was hilarious. I said straight up that the Thorn trilogy could suck my left nut. <laughs> Nobody said anything. Maybe now they will. Well, I no, when you take the whole trilogy, people are like, all right, you know, we don't uh, want the fair, whole trilogy. Fair. I think the producer's anyway, cut of six is good. Anyway, uh, so getting back to our previous video, is this now the worst Texas Chainsaw Master? No, hell no. Nah, it's still Leatherface. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D is still the worst, in my opinion. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. It's a fucking nah, close race. race. Strong disagree, <laughs> Joe. And I'm Let glad a lot of people in our comment section also agreed for, with me for the same reason. That's fine. <laughs> like, t uh, 3D is too fucking stupid for me. Yeah. It's just too dumb. I don't like it. Yeah, 3D is kind of almost on par with this. A Leatherface bit. is serious. It might not have. It might. It might not be a good prequel or like a very good. Text Chainsaw movie, but I think it's a good. The only thing on Leatherface the, had, on the road horror movie or some shit. I said. The only yeah. good thing Leatherface had going for it was maybe the mystery, but it was real predictable. Except to Sean, who did not know that going in. <laughs> Go back and watch that video again just to see how upset I was. Once about you know it's a mystery, thing. it's real easy yeah. to whittle down who it is. I didn't say that it wasn't stupid. Yeah, but it does have error. it does have the wheelchair being thrown out. The yeah, it's pretty good. So anyway, that is it from us here at Hack the Movies. And thank you again, Joe and Sean from Movie Dumpster for stopping by. Thank you. And don't forget to check out uh, the Texas Chainsaw, oh, excuse me, Texas Chainsaw Massacre colon the next generation episode uh, with Tony. Yes. Yes. If you liked our worst Texas Chainsaw episode, you wanted us to talk more about four, except for all those people who yelled at Joe, go to their channel and watch us talk about that movie at length. And on Patreon, both of our Patreons. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have a commentary for Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. 3, yeah. Is that sure theatrical or extended? That is the uncut version. Uncut Un excuse version. Excuse me, unrated. Unrated version. <laughs> so that will be on our Patreons. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Call our voicemail line. I haven't done voicemails in a minute. Uh, if you want to send us some stuff, we have a P.O. box. And yes, follow us at all our socials. What did you think of... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Are you not asking 3D. me again? No. Oh. No. <laughs> not the the non 3D Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not to be confused with the two other films called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right. Let us know what you thought. Are we just haters? Let us know. I thought it was fine. Was it fun though? Nah, it was bad. <laughs> Bye. I have so many things I want to talk about. I'm like going to get off track here. This is the case of a game that was far more popular in Japan than it was in the United States. They never <laughs> went to Mordor. What are you talking about? It's kind of weird. <laughs> But there's real detail. There's like wiring underneath. You know, they're, they're one out. and done. That's yeah. it. It's sold yeah. out. So they're super hard to come by. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, guys. Bring it back. Here oh, we go no, again. No, Round no, two. No. <laughs> <laughs>